Hey everyone, Rob Avis here. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to, to uh, talk a little bit about soil. Um, right in front of me here is a bit of cooch grass or, or quack grass as some people call it. And um, I just pulled this out of the garden and I was absolutely blown away when I actually looked at the, uh, the root here. So I'm going to hold it up a little bit closer to the camera. Let's see if I can focus here. And I want you to notice how much soil is actually clumped onto the root there. So there's all these little soil tests that are floating around the internet with regards to how to test if your soil is acidic or basic, um, how to see if your soil is good or bad. This is one of the easiest tests that you can do. When you pull your weeds, your plants out of the garden, if you see the soil clumped to your roots, it's a, a sign that you have a lot of microbial activity in the garden itself. So all of this soil right here uh, are basically small microbial communities and they're feeding off the sugars that the, that the grass is um, feeding into the ground through photosynthesis. And uh, the more clumping you have on these roots and the easier it is for you to, for the, to pull the grass out of the actual soil, the better your soil actually is. So this is really what we're going after. We want really high microbial density in the soil um, and so when we see this sort of stuff it's, it's a sign that we're moving in the right direction. Anyways, another little way that you can turn a problem into a solution, your cooch grass can become an indicator for how good or bad your soil is.